What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today we're going to be adding jumping to our VR game. So we had in the past have added uh, the ability to actually look around in VR, to pick up stuff in VR and to move in VR, but we still can't jump. So in this video we are going to be adding in the actual ability to jump. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it so as you can see here we have the basic setup from before um, the only difference is if we go to our samples into our default inputs you'll see on the right hand interactions I've added this jump key now I'm actually going to delete this and re-add it to show you how to add it um, and basically first things first what we want to do is create a new action and we're going to call it jump I'm then going to go into the bindings. We're going to go to the XR controller. We want this on the right hand because we're using the right hand interaction. Um, options, and I'm just going to select the primary button. You can have any button you want to jump. I'm just going to use the primary button. Go set to generic XR controller. And that is it for this. Just click save asset and close that. So that will now have a, we now have a button to actually activate the jump. The next thing we want to do is make sure we, well, we need a new script for our character controller or our XR origin that will tell us to jump. So let's just go into our here, add component, call it the player jump and create a new script. Now with that open up in Visual Studio code, what I'm gonna do is I am going to, well, first things first, we're gonna be using the Unity Engine dot input system, uh, cause we're gonna need the input key. So let's start off with the input key. So we just need a private input action property and we're gonna call this the jump button. We then would like to add in a private flow now this is going to be the height we want to jump to i'm going to set this to something like three three is roughly a good height to jump you might want to set it smaller tweak it play with it see so just just basically change it to what you want the next serialized field is actually oh we need a private character controller i'm just going to call it cc because this is what we're going to use to actually apply the movement because since we're already using it to move forward back left and right um and then finally, we just need one more layer mask called the ground layers. And these are gonna be the layers we can actually jump on. So let's start off by setting up the, well, basically checking if we're actually on the ground so we can jump. Cause otherwise we're gonna be able to infinitely jump. And that's, you know, we are people, we're veterans here. We know that that's not what we want. So we're gonna say it's grounded. It's a private ball, which needs to return true or false. So what we want to do is return and we're going to use the physics.check sphere, which is basically going to cast a sphere around our current player's location. And we're just going to check if, um, well, if we're touching any of the ground layers, which we're going to set up later. So let's just go transform.position and we can give this a pretty small uh, number. 0 0.2 is probably good. And then we can also pass in the ground layer. So the nice thing about the um, XR origin is your transform is actually at your feet because that's where the ground is so we are able to just pass in the actual position here and now instead of having to have like a feet pr parameter or anything like that this just works really nicely which is is good uh, and now let's go into our up oh actually let's create another private vector we're going to call this the private float gravity or oh, gravity and we're going to set this equal to physics dot gravity dot y because we want to just get the current y velocity or the current y gravity we're going to use this to actually calculate how high we want to jump um, and yeah let's go into our update function and first thing we'll do is get a ball called is grounded which is going to be equal to our is grounded method the reason i'm storing this up here is so we don't have to call this function multiple times we can call it once store it in a variable and reuse it now we want to actually check if we press the jump key so what we're going to do is get our jump 
button. We're going to add check the action and we'll check if it was to press this frame. So if we just pressed it, then we're going to uh, basically jump. However, we also want to just check if we're grounded because if we're not grounded, then obviously we can infinitely jump in the same issue as I said earlier. We're going to create a jump. Oh, a jump method to actually call although it is just a real simple thing you could probably do this in line here but i'm just going to bring it out just so in the future if we do want to add some more features to this like coyote time which if something you guys want let me know then we can add that feature easily anyway private void jump and this again is a super simple thing we actually just want to create a new private vector free uh, which we are going to call movement um, and then in here we're just going to say movement dot y is equal to math dot squared and or square root sorry and then we just want to get our jump height times it by something like negative 3.0 you can put this at negative one but negative one is the lowest you can go um or the highest you can go because it's negative uh and then um we want to then pass in our gravity value as well so what we're doing here is we're going to get the we're going to basically get the square root of our jump multiplied a negative value times the gravity now this should roughly jump us as high as three meters in the air in game um but you want to play around with these settings you might want to even set this as a multiplier gravity multiplier or something uh but this this should be fine this should work pretty well and then all we want to do is say movement dot y so we've just set our movement to a arbitrary value some large jump height we then just want to start making sure we are start falling back down and to do that we're just going to apply our jump or sorry our y velocity or movement we'll set this plus equal to our gravity and then we just want to times this by time dot delta time this is just going to tell it to obviously watch the frame count so you know we're not falling down too fast then we're just going to say uh, cc dot move and then we're going to pass in our movement and again times by times dot delta time and that should be our jump uh, ability all done and ready to go so what we want to do is go back to unity and we're going to need to actually set up our um, ground to be able to jump so you want to select this and the cube because we're going to be jumping on the cube i might even duplicate the table um, and we want to set it to the ground layer because it's already set here but if you want to add a new one click add layer name it ground or anything you want platform ground and then select all the platforms or the layers you want to be able to jump on just make Make sure the layer you want to jump on is not the same as your XR origin it's currently set to default so make sure it's not default uh, because then you'll be able to infinitely jump again or double jump and it's it's all broken you don't want that you don't want that uh, um, so back over here we want to select use reference and then we can just search for the jump key so you can see we have the XR right hand interaction jump double click that set that to high and obviously drag in our character character controller and select the ground layer now this should in theory work so grab your VR headset make sure it is connected to your pc that's what this wire is for and let's let's hop into the matrix i apologize if any audio quality gets a bit bad here this is because um you know i don't know where the mic actually is so here it is and i'm just gonna hit play and we're gonna see if we can jump hopefully there's no errors um and we should there you go you can see we could jump about three meters in the air i could jump on the table we could still move and turn and jump jump and you can see it's working as intended which is awesome so guys let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next uh next video let me just take this off i don't know why i've still got this on um but there you go guys that is simple jumping in vr let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next video uh there's loads of things we could do we could do teleporting we can do some fun things like a grappling hook uh but if we want that then please let me know in advance that may take a few weeks to actually come up with but let me know anything you guys want me to make a tutorial on i will try and get to it and make it work if there's any bugs you have jump in the discord ask in the uh the discords uh, in the help channel and just say yo it's not working why why your code 
not work and I'll, I'll try and fix it but that's gonna be it for this video guys so don't forget to smash that like button headbutt subscribe do a roly-poly and I'll see you in the next video peace out gotta find the actual stop recording button now it's always the awkward bit after you say bye isn't it anyway peace